Because you said Psalms 133 verse five, right? There's nothing you can tell me about the Bible, but which Psalms 133 verse five? Psalms 133 verse five. That's relevant, man. I know from the beginning to the end, I know the whole thing. From Psalms chapter 133 verse five, yeah, does not exist. Says what? Psalms 133 verse five. Psalms chapter 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 133 verse five.
definition of ghetto. Uh -huh. A quarter of a city in which Jews. In which what? Jews. Jews live in the ghetto. Not so-called blacks and Hispanics. Who? Jews were formerly required to live. This is where we're required to live. So I want you to understand it's not a coincidence that so-called blacks, Hispanics, who are the true Jews, according to the Bible, right. live in the ghetto. Because the Bible said that's where they, they would dwell. Give me Deuteronomy 10. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. Now who? Now Israel. So that's speaking to you. I ain't catch your name early. Shea. Shea? Yeah. All right, and what's your, uh, your son's Shea name? Shea J. Shea J. Yeah. Shea Jr.? Yeah. Okay, cool. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Most High God require you, Shay? What does he require of your son? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in all his ways. All of his ways, which are his laws, statutes, and commandments. So we're not supposed to be out here breaking the Sabbath. Right. We're not supposed to be out here wearing gold chains with a white man on our neck. Right. That's right. right. That's oppression. Read. And to love him. Uh huh. And to serve the Lord thy God. Read. With all thy heart. See, right now, we, you're still serving America. You still serving the white man. The Most High God is telling you to repent from that. Read. And with all thy soul, uh -huh. to keep, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day for thy good. Read. Give me the joint about children. Uh, do, do, do wrong, seven. Okay. Read it out. Now th this is what you gotta do. Uh, six or seven. This is what you gotta do for your son. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse seven. Start at verse one and then jump to verse seven. Verse one. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God command to teach you. This is what we are here to teach our people. This is what they're missing. Everybody say they believe on Christ. Ain't nobody keeping the commandments. Read. That ye might do them. We must do the commandments. Read. In the land whither ye go to possess it. Verse 7. Verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently. And thou shalt teach them, being the commandments, diligently, very precisely. With close attention, read. Unto thy children. Unto Shade J. You got to teach him the commandments. Because you know what's going to happen? If you walk around here with a shaved beard, what's he going to do when he get older? He's going to shave his beard. That's if you come out here and you shopping on the Sabbath, the most I said don't buy or sell on the Sabbath, you know what he's going to do? The same thing. Right. You wear the white man on your neck, he's going to do the same thing. Right. You are his image of what a man is supposed to be. Right. right. So you got to make sure that that's a godly image. Right. You got to make sure that that's a righteous image. Right. You got to make sure that your image matches the image of Christ. That's right. right. Read that. Seven. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. Read. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So when you're sitting in the house on a Saturday, a Monday, a Tuesday, you got to be talking about the commandments. You got to be saying, hey, Shay J. Hey, look, our people come from the greatest heritage ever. King David was one of your forefathers. King Solomon was one of your forefathers. Isaiah, Jeremiah, all these were black men according to the scriptures. Hey, that's right. what you want to be teaching Shay J. Read. And when thou walkest by the way, you walking up and down the street, you ought to be explaining to Shay J, look, this is why our people live on public housing. Because the Bible said it would be a curse on our people for breaking God's commandments. Read. Read it out. And when thou liest down, when you lying down, you about to put him to bed. You telling him his nighttime story. You're not, you're not showing him some movie about Batman or reading a book about Spider-Man. You reading about the true saviors, the true superheroes that are in this book right here. That's what right. right. And when thou risest up, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you should be doing is sending praises up to the Most High. Not praying like this because that's what they teach us in, 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 in the Christian church. Nobody in the Bible prays like this. You ever seen a white man? Like bent over sideways with his hands like this, sis? No, you never seen nobody praying like this? They didn't teach you to, to say the Lord's Prayer like, okay, all right, the sister being truthful, thank you. The sister being truthful. They taught all of our people to pray like this. Right. Where, where does that come from? It's not in the Bible. Give me, uh, 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 what's that with Solomon? Is that, uh, 1 Kings 8? When he, uh, lifted up his hands? Okay, yeah, give me that. We're gonna show y'all how to pray righteously according to the Bible. So you shouldn't go home and then sat have your bedtime stories kneel down on the bed going like this. Because you ain't praying to the Most High God. You ain't praying in the name of Christ. Read. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 22. So you remember I said that you want to be telling him stories that how King David, King Solomon was his forefathers, right? Read. And Solomon. And Solomon, a, a king, the wisest man to ever live. The Most High endured this man with, with, with wisdom. He came from the same tribe that you came from. Read. 
and Solomon uh -huh. stood before the altar of the Lord Read. in the presence of all the congregation of Israel. Check this out, sis. I don't want you praying like this no more. You hear me? Read. And spread forth his hands. It said he did what with his hands? Spread forth his hands. He spread forth his hands. Not, not he put his hands together. That's right. He spread forth his hands and did what? Toward heaven. Toward heaven and did what? And he said, Lord God of Israel. So he's praying to the Most High God with his hands spread toward heaven. Now give me uh, faith uh, toward their homeland in chapter 8. Yes, sir. Early in chapter 8. So it's a couple things you got to do to pray correctly. The first thing you're going to do is you're not going to have... Oh, okay. Okay. All right, we're going to finish this scripture. Lord's will, y'all going to pray correctly the next time you send prayers up to the Most High. And we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Read. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 48. Bring it up. And so return unto thee. So we got to return back to the Most High. The, pro right. the proper way. The biblical way. Not the ways that they taught us in the Christian church. The Christian church has failed our people. Right. Right. They lied to our people. They said that this is Christ. That's not Christ. That's the damn devil right there. Right. right. Bring it up. And so return unto thee uh -huh. with all their heart Read. and with all their soul Read. in the land of their enemies. We're in the land of our enemies right now. Right. Our enemies brought us here to America. We didn't choose to get on those slave ships. We chose to break God's commandments. Right. Right. So the Most High sent us on those slave ships. We got to return back to them. Read. Which led them away captive. Uh -huh. And pray. And do what? And pray. And how do we pray, sis? With our hands closed or with our hands open, right? With our hands open. Now this is the other part. Read. Unto thee. Uh huh. Toward their land. We gotta pray toward our land. Where's our land? Huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear. You. Look, our land is Jerusalem. We're just gonna give it to you. Our land is the north, the most northern part of Africa. Right. Jerusalem, Israel. That's where our people settled. We left Egypt. The Most High gave us that land. Right. We broke God's commandments and the Most High sent us to Africa and then eventually to America. You understand? That's right. Read. And pray unto thee toward their land. And pray unto the Most High toward our land. So Jerusalem is which direction? It's east. So when you send prayers up to the Most High, sis, make sure your head is covered according to the scriptures. Bro, make sure your head is uncovered according to the scriptures. And also make sure your hands are open toward heaven and to the east toward Jerusalem, your homeland. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.